Okay, so what do we do in the wintertime when it's rainy and cold outside? You can't play golf. You think about golf. So what do you do? You talk about golf. And you drink. <laughs> and you drink. <laughs> Absolutely. And you pray that you can find a golf course that drains well. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, the three favorite holes that we played this year that we got on video. Okay. Um, our two favorite courses that we played, um, and that can be whatever your criteria is for that, and then your favorite round, and that okay. that that kind of opens it up to however you want to define it, you know. Um, okay. So we will look back at our videos, and I think we have eleven courses that we videoed this year. Yep. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get everything we played this year, but we got the bulk of it. Yeah, yeah. It would have been nice to get Pebble and uh, and. Uh, Poppy and Spyglass. Spyglass, right. But next year. Next year. <laughs> I got a reason to go back. Okay. All right. So go first. What are your uh, three favorite courses on video? Three favorite holes. Three favorite holes, sorry. Three favorite holes. So, um, yeah. So, so one of the three would have to be the 14th hole at uh, Mammoth Dunes. So it was playing what? 295. I think it was 295 front. I think it was about 320 to the pin. Okay. If I remember so, right. So we'll say 310 because it was, it was kind of a frontish pin. Um, dog leg left. You could actually go straight at it, but there was a really narrow gap along the left side where there was a bunker and the, the fairway slope from right to left. And your caddy gave me a line and he said, you know, if you hit this line, he says, the ball will carry him off and it'll roll down and it'll put you right on the green. And so, I, I, if I remember correctly, I hit last. Um, yes, other did. people hit before me. And I, I put a pretty good swing on it, but when I hit it, I pushed it. And I thought, oh man, I, it isn't going to work out. And your caddy's going, no, no. He says, that's perfect. <laughs> so, my vision isn't good. So, I lost the ball as it went over, as it started working its way back down. And I'm looking over at the green and, my God. I saw the ball rolling on the green, so so I was able to hit that green, and I was left what 15, 20 foot eagle putt, eagle putt yep. that I I I lagged up real close and and uh, it was a good birdie and made my birdie. Um, so so that was definitely one of them. Okay. Uh, um, all right, one of mine then. Okay. Okay. So first hole that comes to mind when I think about standout holes this year is number six at Sheep Ranch. <laughs> taken my hole. <laughs> <laughs> so number six at Sheep Ranch is the most epic tee shot I've ever played. It's a par four. It played what, 390? No, it was, four, or, it was, was 410. It four? 410? It was, it was 410. But there's a cutout going down to the beach uh, on about a 100 foot drop off that you have to go over the corner of. And if you are gutsy, you go over more than the corner of it, and depending on the wind. And but it's just such a, I don't know, exhilarating shot to hit. It's like one of those shots that gets your entire focus in a good way. It doesn't scare the crap out of you. It just kind of gets your focus, and it's a very fun shot to hit. And then the rest of that hole is great, too. You get a really nice green along the ocean. Um, so that would be my standout hole, first one. Okay. Sorry, took your hole. No, you did. And that, that really <clears throat> kind of shot the crap out of the whole thing. Um, I, I, I think... Yeah, so I'm 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 going to go with that too because it, it just is worthy of uh, description. You know, I I visualized my shot on that hole. And, you know, I saw it as a as a, a little baby cut because we had the wind at our back um, and it was coming off the ocean a little bit, so I felt secure in that. And you know, you play a beautiful hole. You it's really memorable because you play it well. Yeah. And and I hit I hit a perfect tee shot there. Um, so both these two holes you picked out, you actually followed the caddy instruction and hit the right shot. Well, one of the things that was noted, um, and actually the caddies actually commented <laughs> on it, they point you in a direction, Corey, and you hit it there. So <laughs> when I've got good when I've got but good it, direction, I can do okay. But it's memorable when you follow direction. Absolutely, so. absolutely. <clears throat> All of my ex wives would would argue that I can't follow directions, but you know that's that's for another day. Um, so yeah, number six, for, for what it's worth, anybody who's never played it, you, you really need to get out and play the Sheep Ranch because 
It's not the only hole that's memorable. Uh, no, it's not. There, you could pick four or five out of that course. 16, <clears throat> par three, the woman had yep. the putted a hole in one yep. from 110 yards. 17. 17, oh yeah, with the um, ghost trees. 15, I like. Yep. Anyway, there, we could go on and on, but. Yep, yep. Um, all right, so that was your second one. My second one, I'm gonna say Wine Valley number 18. So this was earlier in the year, um, I guess it's summer. Wine Valley, a great course in, in central Washington. And it's got a lot of holes where you get up there and you see, hey, I can play this hole this way. I can play this. You know, it allows you to create a shot. In 18, you're sitting up on the top of a rise going back to the clubhouse. You can see the entire par five in front of you. And you know exactly where you can go and where you shouldn't go. And it's a, it's a hole that just invites you to be aggressive. Um, and I've never played it that well, honestly. I parted it last time, I think we were there. I, I got up and down out of the bunker. Um, but if you hit a good sand shot or a good tee shot there, you're in really good shape to hit that green in two. Um, but I also played it once when it was so hard that I hit it with a 58 degree wedge and it was like hitting the cart path and yeah. bounding off the back. So you gotta be careful with it. But I just think it's a really inviting, fun hole to play and very nicely laid out. Okay, so what's your third? My third, I'm, I'm somewhat cheating on this because I'm going to say my third is about half the holes at Sand Valley. <laughs> there, I, I was trying to go through it and remember exactly which hole I liked better. And there are so many holes on Sand Valley where I just got to the tee box and went, wow, this hole just really looks good. I want to play this hole. And then you walk off the green and go, yeah, that was fun. And I'd like to go do it again. Yeah, visually Sand Valley is, it's, it's just beautiful. I mean, you have, you, you can see where you're supposed to go. I mean, the course, the course makes sense. There weren't any really hanky holes, but visually the bunkering around the fairways was absolutely beautiful. Um, and, and it was, it was a really well-designed course. It, it's challenging, but in a fun way. Um, yeah. I think it's more challenging than Mammoth Dunes. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's challenging in a fun way, and, and, and Mammoth is kind of the reverse of that. It's fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's and, not and as challenging. And, but and it's kind of challenging. You still have to hit shots, but it's, it's not as demanding. I agree. Yeah. All right, so those are my three. So much cheating. What was your third? So my third, so I'm gonna, I don't remember the whole. It was a par three, and I believe it was at Pacific Dunes. And we had like a 40 mile an hour crosswind. Are you talking about 17 when you hit the three wood? No, although, <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Seven, 17 in Pacific Dunes, it was playing, what was it playing, about 190 yards? Yes, to a pin that was well back in the left. So yep. you could have hit it 160 and probably be on the front. Yeah, if you hit the right front corner, mm -hmm. one six, if you could have gotten a 160, would have fed down to the, to the hole. Um, so so to, to preface this, uh, again, I was hitting last, um, and, and Stan got up first, and, and we'll, I'll show you the clip on this. Um, he got up to hit the ball, and he tried to hit the ball, and the, the wind was so bad that he had to back off. And then he went back in, and then, um, and then after that shot... <laughs> I, my, yeah, I didn't even get it over the chasm. It was <laughs> you. You bounced it off of the tee box in front, and it yeah. went into the, went yeah. into the junk. So, so I had I hit three wood, and the wind was. I mean, it was it was brutal. It was 35, 40 mile an hour wind in our face. That was the worst of the wind on the worst day that we were there. Yeah, yeah, and I absolutely nutted the three wood to about fifteen or twenty feet. Again, mm -hmm. missed the putt, <laughs> um, made the par, but that. You know, I, I was as happy with that shot and uh, in that hole as as any we played all year. I mean, I thought that was probably the best shot I hit all year. All right. So those are the favorite holes. Those are the favorite holes. Um, what do you say next? Two favorite courses. Two favorite courses. This is hard because um, the we, courses that we play frequently, it's hard for them to stand out as a favorite because we play them all the time. Sure. So keep that in mind. The local courses, the reserve, are great. Um, I'm going to go with two that I played for the first time this year. Okay. Probably some overlap with yours. Uh, I'm going to say Sheep Ranch and Sand Valley. Okay. Which was your favorite? Um, I'm going to say Sand Valley for pure golf. I think there was really good hole after really good hole. 
Sheep Ranch had really good hole after really good hole, but a lot of it was because of the setting. Um, Sand Valley doesn't have the benefit of an ocean setting, and it still had beautiful hole after beautiful hole. So um, I, I had one good round on each of those courses this year, which helps. Right. I got to play them both twice. Um, but it, like I said, at Sand Valley, a lot of those holes, they they get you, they entice you from the tee, and then when you walk off the green, you still really like the hole. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, a good sign of a great course is it's challenging, but when you get done, you want to go around and start over again. And that's what it was like at Sand Valley. Well, and, and, and you feel like, okay, I played that. Now I know the mistakes that I was, I was making in the course, and I, I want to go back and correct it, like right now. Yeah. And Sheep Ranch is, is similar in a lot of ways. There's a lot of really good holes, but there's several where you go, okay, I played that, and now I know what I didn't know. I want to go back to the tee and do it again. Um, which we, you know, we got to play it two days in a row, so we got to correct some of that. Um, some of the great holes, and just pure fun, Sand Valley, or excuse me, Sheep Ranch wins on pure fun. Because it's really made to let you have a good time when you're playing golf. All right, your two favorite courses. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to do this. I, I've got a 2A and 2B, <laughs> and then, uh, then for me, it was far and away number one. And, and this will shock you a little bit. But as I look back, um, you know, my opinion of the course um, was diminished because of the weather we were playing in. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to throw Lasonia Lynx because I've never played a course like Lasonia Lynx. I've never played greens like Lasonia Lynx. I've never hit out of bunkers like Lasonia Lynx. Um, it just presented a different style of game um, that I was unfamiliar with. But, you know, I, I got to hit some really interesting shots. Um, the other, the, the 2B for me is Mammoth Dunes. Um, I just thought that was a fun course to play. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the round. Fortunately, I played pretty well. Um, it, you know, I was pretty tired after playing Sand <laughs> Valley. I mean, it's, it's, it's a healthy walk um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a mentally challenging course, you know, right. to, to you know, keep your mind in the game for all the shots because there aren't very many freebies out there. No, you can hit good shots, and if if it's two feet off, you're you know you're from hero to zero. Um, and then my favorite, uh, by a long shot, uh, was uh, Sheep Ranch. For all of, for all of those reasons, but you know, looking back, the day was it was absolutely beautiful. There were no clouds in the sky. Um, you want to play a link style course that has no bunkers, and it has no bunkers because it gets so windy. Right. And it presented us with the wind. That's right. I, uh, think, I think we played it the way it was supposed to be played. Yeah. Right. I mean, we got, we got the day that that course was designed for. Uh, it, was, it was running pretty firm and fast. Um, the greens were faster than they thought they were going to be when we went out on the course that morning. They mm -hmm. told us they were rolling slow, and, and we didn't find that to be true. Right. Um, the views, you know, all of the, they have what? Aren't there eight or nine holes that go along the ocean? I believe it's nine, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> and, and each one is unique. Um, it, it presents a different set of challenges. Uh, number six, like, like we said before, you know, of our favorite holes. Um, 17, the, or 16, the par three, um, goes along, along the ocean. And then 17 with the uh, ghost trees yeah. along the left-hand side and around the green visually. Is, it, it, it's a pre, really, it's a pretty simple hole. Uh, except yeah. <laughs> you got ocean for the city. <laughs> right. I, even the inland cor inland holes on that course are good. I mean, number 11, that par five that goes up the, the volcano crater. Yep. Um, I love that hole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I can't argue with you at all. Yeah. There are some, there are some bizarre holes um, on the course that, that they probably could have done better with, but I think they presented so many great holes that you, you kind of overlook yeah. the ones that get you to the it's, next great hole. It's easy to downgrade a pretty good hole just because it's next to all these really great holes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so so what was your what was your favorite round? Favorite round on video this year, well, sort of on video. I, the second time we played Lasonia this year or this yeah, second time we played Lasonia this year was my favorite round. Yeah. I I found Lasonia to be unique to what I played. I haven't played a lot of these classically designed courses that were done by Donald Ross and Seth Rayner and sure um, 
that was unique to me. And I think that course just had a really distinctive personality, good test of golf without being too penal. Um, and getting to play it the second time where you knew a couple of the lines off the tees that you didn't the first time, I really enjoyed it. Like you said, we didn't have very good weather. No, it was I'd love to play it on a nice day. I think that even though it's challenging, is an extremely fun course just because of the shots that it presents you. No, I, I don't disagree. Um, it, it, and it was, it was the right length. Um, the greens were sneaky. Um, you, you'd, <laughs> you'd look at some putts and you'd see some break, but it was, you, were, you only got like 30% of the break that was actually there mm -hmm. and you just, you just couldn't see it. So I think, I think course knowledge there is a, is a, is a real big yeah. thing. All right, your favorite round? My favorite round, so I'm, I'm going off menu. Uh, my favorite round was, was one of the rounds, I think I, we got it on video when we played the preserve. Oh, the preserve, yep. Uh, what, I, what I liked about the round, one, it was, it was one of those beautiful sunny days um, at Bandon. Weather was perfect. Um, we had a, a, an increasing amount of wind. We, we, we teed off at like nine o'clock. Um, so the wind was just beginning to percolate and, and by the end of the day it was, it was starting to blow pretty hard, probably 20 miles an hour. Um, but it was just, it was a fun day with the buddies. Yeah. Out on a golf course, you're not stressing about shooting a score, you're just out there to hit some shots and have some fun. Um, and I, I love that little course. Uh, it, I'll, you know, I, I, I'll be disappointed if, if I go out next, anytime I go out to Bannon and I, I can't get out and play it again. And it's going to be hard because now they've got five full-size courses. It's going to be hard to squeeze in the preserve or punch bowl, which we didn't get to do on the trip this year. Yep. Uh, which is as much fun sometimes as the preserve. Yeah, but that was that was just fun. I mean, this year we played the preserve five times, didn't we? <laughs> um, and 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 that was like one one lesson I probably would have wanted to play. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Even though we put way too many miles on our legs those days. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, we did. You, yeah, it, it's hard not to go, let's go one more round. Yeah, it's, it's <clears> another <throat> hour, it's okay. Yeah, good good pick. All right, um, so what about you? Well, I already told you, La Sonia. Um, the other ones that were in consideration, okay. um, Sheep Ranch, the first time I played it, there was a, a, a joy in discovering the course for the first time. Yeah. That's hard to match. Yeah. Um, and I eagled 18. Um, <laughs> yes, you did. And then... Um, For a 300-and-60-yard 300, a 300 tee shot <laughs> in, into a crosswind. Yep. And then um, when we did the birdie challenge at the reserve. Yeah. I, I had fun with that because um, I, didn't, I didn't hit tremendous shot after tremendous shot, but I hit... I was in play. I had chances at birdies. I made five birdies. You made five birdies. Um, it was fun. I forgot about that one. I, I, so I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to throw in uh, the fifteenth hole in the birdie challenge <laughs> because you were smoking me, and and uh, we hit tee shots and we hit second shots, and we were within like three feet of each other after our second shot, and then miraculously, I actually made the putt. Yep. Made the eagle putt, um, which kept me in the game for our draw. You made, you made the eagle, and I got the tap-in birdie. <laughs> you got the tap-in birdie. <laughs> and you got to see my roll first, I and know. you still didn't put it in. Well, it was a 40-footer. It was a 40-footer. <clears throat> uh, yeah. All right, so that's kind of a summary. Um, it was a good golf year. It was really a good golf year. Um, so now we, what we have to do is, is start plotting where we're going to go play yep. next year. I, and I've, I've got some on the list that we didn't get to this year. I want to hit Chambers Bay. Okay. Um, Gold Mountain up in Washington State. We're talking about Gamble Sands. Gamble Sands. That one's going to be a little harder. It's, it's just remote, but I think it's worth the trip. Um, we, didn't, we didn't film Pumpkin Ridge out here. Um, there's other places we can hit. Yep. Um, and then maybe a trip or two. We'll we'll see. Yeah, maybe uh, St. George, Utah. There are some nice looking courses there. Yeah, and you know if somebody throws us a lot of money, maybe we'll go to Scotland <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on the table. It's on the table. So, all right. So uh, so cheers to a good golf season. 
Yep. And wishing for another one next year. Here's for an early spring. All right, guys. Thank you. Hey, if you enjoy the videos, give us a like. Subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. We're trying to grow this thing. We're never going to make any money at it, but it's fun. Um, and leave us some comments. If you've got some ideas of places where we should go play, um, in the United States would be best. Um, uh, yep. we, we'd certainly look for any advice that you might have. So, all right. Thank you. Later. <laughs>